Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 122. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 121 to 125. Hey, this YouTuber, this gentleman right here, and I can't pronounce his name, but I'll let Excel pronounce his name. This guy named is a really smart guy and sent us a great trick about advanced filter. Here's the situation. Over here we have a data set. We're going to use a true false formula to extract data using advanced filter. And in fact, if you want to see that this complete example in excruciating detail, you see Excel magic trick number 83. We're just going to use this uh, particular advanced filter to see how to not dump it in the same sheet like we did in that video, but dump it in a new sheet. The whole trick is, instead of starting your advanced filter here, where the data set is, you just go to the sheet where you want to dump the data. And that's where you start advanced filter. First, we got to go back over here and we got to put our true false formula here that will extract every seventh record for our um, audit sample. In this cell right here, I'm going to say equals the mod function. The mod function uh, takes a number, divides it by another number, and tells you what the remainder is. So the number I want is this, and it's a relative cell reference. So as advanced filter copies this down, it'll take all of these as the numerator, and then we put comma. It says divisor here, but we also know that's uh, as denominator and click this right here. And this one we have to lock, so I'm going to hit the F4 twice to put the dollar sign in front of the one. What this will do, mod right here, what's um, uh, 1 divided by 7, we can see is 1 because it, there, it's 0, remainder 1. If we were to copy, uh, put a, a 7 here, the uh, 7 divided by 7 remainder is 0. If we were to put a 14 here, zero. it would be 0. Aha, uh -huh. let's see that little pattern. If we put a 2 here, two. the remainder is 2. What if we put 8, then the remainder is 1. one. So what we want is this is a relative cell reference. So as it scrolls down this huge data set, every time it gets to a 7 or a 14, it'll result in 0. And then we simply, to make this a true false, we say equals 0. Now right now, it's going to be false. False. But in memory, um, Excel will copy this all the way down. And when it gets to here, in fact, you could uh, cheat and to copy this formula right here from the formula bar, paste it right here, Control V, and then copy it down a few and see that there's a true, there's a true, and that's 14 and 7. Control Z, Control Z. All right, let's see how this works. We have a true false formula in our data set. Let's go over to the sheet. That's the whole trick. If you want the data dumped on a separate sheet, start on that separate sheet. In 2007, you go to data, sort and filter, and advanced filter. In 2003, don't forget to go to the data menu, and then filter, advanced filter. Hey, do we want to copy this to another location? You bet. Where is the list range? You click in the text box. Oh, and then click on the Sheet tab. I'm going to highlight the very top here, and I'm going to use my Control shift down arrow to highlight that entire range. And then I'm going to click in Criteria Range. It gets me back here, but then I click on Data. And I go right up here and highlight a blank and a true false. And then Copy to, I'm going to click right here. No way. Let's see if this works. Brrrr. And just like that, it extracts uh, every seventh record. Now, if you go back over in here, look, I had a little teeny data set. But if you were auditing, you could have you know, thousands, thousands. And by the way, by setting this up right here, uh, um, this true-false formula based on there, you can change this to every four records. Totally. Now, watch what happens when we run that again. I'm going to come over here to this sheet and um, clear all. Alt EAA, or in 2007, you go to the home and then that eraser. Alt EAA is edit, clear all, uh, clear all, or clear, clear all. So let's go ahead and run this again. We're going to start on this sheet right here. I'm going to click in that cell. Data, advanced filter, copy to another location. The list range is over here. Control Shift down arrow. The criteria, I'm going to click on this data sheet. Go to the top, highlight that and that. Notice now that there's a 4, that will be completely di different. 
And uh, copy to. I don't want to copy it there. I want to copy it right there and then click OK. And sure enough, we got a different set based on that uh, four in a cell and that formula. All right, that's how to do advanced filter thanks to uh, from one sheet to another. See you next trick.